good morning YouTube or a up YouTube sorry as I've you know still getting used to trying to have a bit of a catchphrase welcome back to the shed um, on this uh, definitely autumnal day not cold but certainly grey and wet uh, where are we early September we are 9th of September Borderlands 3 day tomorrow we're all gamers as well here on the shed um, <laughs> So, what am I doing here today? Not a lot in this weather, I can tell you that much. Um, I'm going to do a bit of cleaning up in the greenhouse. I think I'm going to empty it. Um, I've neglected my tomatoes for, for a couple of weeks now and I'm paying the price. They're coming to an end. Oh, they are now ended earlier than they should. Um, it, it, they should. I should have got another month out of them. But I've just had too much focus elsewhere. I've had work and... Um, I also study um, automotive repair, all that now obviously with it being September has all started back up again now so <sighs> life's very very busy. Um, so this is this is why there's, there's a bit of an early push for me to get my allotment shut down because once sort of September rolls around I kind of get a little bit busy and I'm only free in the school holidays. So today, very quickly, hopefully, it's going to be uh, chilli picking. Uh, I've got some chillies to come out. It's going to be tomato picking. Uh, it might be leaf, leek picking as well. I might actually take them home. Might uh, blanch them and take. I might blanch them and freeze them. Um, that means that then my entire uh, ground level space is done. Then it's it's retired. It's finished. Um, so hopefully I can get my hands on a rotavator, I'll be able to hit that up, rotivate it, cover it, get more fertiliser, more manures, uh, rotivate it, cover it, rotivate it. And I, 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 my hope is to do that all winter um, because my soil here is so heavy over the last two years. It's what I've been doing and oh my god this year was the first year I noticed when I was lifting my potatoes. Uh, it was the first year I noticed a hell, uh, you know, an amazing difference. Still hope to do potatoes in buckets next year as opposed to in the ground. But it just goes to show the work that I've put in on this ground. You don't need to spend hundreds of pounds. I think last year my grand total was £20 worth of fuel for horse manure. Um, and this last, this year probably slightly more because I've gone further afield I've, because I've gone for the, the alpaca poo this year um, so my fuel bill's been slightly more but I, I don't pay for the manures and I certainly certainly would not contemplate covering what I'm about 50 feet by 30 foot um, block of land I certainly wouldn't even dream of covering that with compost I mean that that would cost well I dread to think you know, to do that two or three inches thick, it probably it probably upwards of two hundred pounds, even buying bolt bag, um, and that's just not that's just not a price I'm willing to entertain. You know, if I had four, five, four, if I had two, three, four hundred pounds, I'd buy myself a lovely shed instead of um, this hand-me-down rickety thing. Which, I mean, don't get me wrong, she's served me well. She's she's a don't serve me a good purpose, but. All things being equal, she's going to get replaced this winter uh, with a, with a, with one that I'm building. <laughs> Not necessarily saying it's going to be any good, any better, um, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yes, it's, it serves me well, you know. And it, 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 once again, it cost me nothing. She cost me nothing. Did this shed, um, so I can't grumble. So yes, today is going to be. A lot of chatting really um, the weather's not really suitable to be filming outside so there's going to be a bit of greenhouse a bit of polytunnel and a bit of discussion um, I kind of want to talk about what conversation shed is it's more of for us it's more about saying right okay here's how we do things watch how we do things um, tell us where we're going wrong love that I love what I love I love to hear of New ways, faster ways, better ways, safer ways of doing things. You know, there is no bad constructive criticism. Just being abusive for being abusive's sake is no good. 
but if you're being constructive there is no bad comments um, but yes you know it's, it's all about a community it's all about how we do things um, even down to websites for things or sources for things so like um, one of the things I'd love to discuss in a, in a bit of a vlog um, at a later date is going to be where and why I order my seeds from certain people and why I've not gone back to using certain people for certain things. Another one of the conversations I want to have is literature. Now's the time to be reading, now's the time to be preparing for next year, now's the time to be thinking about what you're doing. Um, so I'm going to show you what I do. I'm going to order a book which a lot of people talk about. There'll be a link to, um, to the book in the description uh, called Allotment Month by Month. A lot of people talk about that book. A lot, you know, the amount of people who, who rave about it, they can't be wrong. So I'm going to order one, and I'll open it on camera, and I'll show you my first impressions, and then I'll I'll, I'll go away and I'll uh, I'll have a read of it and I'll have a look through it, and then I'll come back to it. I'll probably record. You'll probably see the two sessions in one video because it's not going to be a massively long video. But you know, if I can do the two sessions into one video, sort of the initial reactions the initial reviews and then you know a, a week two weeks a month down the line after I've read it after I've had a, a, a good look through it and I've got used to all the pages and sort of the information and how it provides it we'll then revisit it and we'll discuss it further um, yes so um, that's that's gonna that's I think you know what I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna stop talking I'm gonna um, I'm gonna crack on I'm going to crack on. Uh, I've, 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 I've spoken enough about stuff now. So yeah, today is just going to be tidying up, a bit of harvesting, a um, bit of chuck care, maybe so they don't really need mucking out, um, but I'm going to check their feeders and things like that. Um, and then... If I, if I empty the greenhouse today, the next video is going to be winter care, so it's going to be uh, pruning trees, winter washing the, the insides of the greenhouse, prepping the greenhouse floor because uh, I grow in the soil so hopefully I'll have been and got some more fertiliser and I'll be doing another layer because I'm developing a no-dig greenhouse. This last year has been actually very very good um, so I'm going to I'm gonna layer it again and again and again and, and I'll keep doing that. Um, so yes, I'll probably see uh, in one of the two things I'm not sure what I'm going to do first I'll see you in a bit right okay so as you can see like I was talking to like I was just saying back in the shed I mean these guys you know what if I was to give them a feed and water they probably would come back but you know there's, there's no flowers on them or there's very few flowers on them um, so they're looking very sad for themselves, it's entirely my own fault. But I've got more than enough fruit on them than I need. Um, you know, at this time of year, I mean, these are salad tomatoes. These, you know, what... I might make an effort to to, to take off the fruit, the fruit that's red, and then I might take the leaves off. Um, because these are a sauce tomato, although most of these guys are looking pretty damn sorry for themselves. Um, and then this guy can come out as well, he was just thrown in there because there was no, no space for him elsewhere. But as you can see, I mean, this San Marzano um, never really, these guys never really amounted to much. Uh, and they ended up with blossom end rot. Uh, there you go, blossom end rot. Um, I tried to cap combat it, I, uh, I used some Epsom salts, uh, but I think it was too little too late. Um, I'm trying a different variety which I've already mentioned in my seed reveal. So I'm going uh, to take these guys out, I'm going to clear down the greenhouse, uh, I'm going to clear the ground, uh, I'm going to maybe, you know, I spoke about these things before, these things were, this was a brilliant idea from Tony at UK Here We Grow. Um, I wish I'd have done it before I started and put them in deeper because uh, they were an absolute godsend with this heat wave. Um, and all they are are two litre pot bottles with the 
uh, bottom cut off, the tops are screwed back on um, and then sort of running down the, the wall of the bottle that is towards the plant I drilled a load of holes as well as one in the bottom and what that does it means that I can come in I can pour water on my feed or whatever straight into the bottle fill the bottle up and that plant for the most part is getting nearly all that feed in one go or all that watering in one go um, and it, it, I mean it's worked wonders for these guys there's you know I mean they're still dripping even though they're dying they're still dripping um, don't ask me what variety these are I don't know it was a plant given to me a couple of years ago uh, by a fella on the allotment I am going to harvest some seeds I wasn't going to but I am going to harvest some seeds because uh, because these tomatoes they're just absolutely divine I mean if anybody can identify them mm. they're gorgeous Um, if anybody can identify them let me know because I'd love to get some fresh some fresh seeds I mean I've got no idea how long he's been sort of multiplying these seeds for and the yield just seems to get less and less every year so oops so yeah I'm going to get on with clearing out this shed this greenhouse rather and then I'll move on to some other job in a bit. I'll throw some 6x down for it to break down uh, but yeah that's pretty much it my plan for the uh, for the greenhouse winters you see the soil's kind of lumpy bumpy all that good stuff my plan is to take off the roof leave the door open take off the roof now some people might be saying why on earth are you going to do that a lot of you won't care but but what i'm going to do is i'm going to be fertilizing the soil with more alpaca poo when i get some and then in taking the roof off what i'm hoping to then be enabling is the um frost and the ice to get in and get this door get this get this soil and what that will do for those of you that don't know is it'll break it down it'll do most of the hard work for you so let it keep keep it wet let the frost at it and it'll help break it down now I'm not growing tomatoes in here next year um, it's going to be either cucumbers I'm just gonna head out of here into the rain and back into the shed it's going to be cucumbers or chilies. As of right now, I'm a little undecided. Um, but it's going to be one of the two. Uh, reason being is I inherited that greenhouse, it was on the plot. Uh, this year is the first year I've struggled, really. Well, I haven't struggled, but this year is the first year that it's required 
a lot more maintenance, a lot more keeping on top of the plants that are in there. Um, so I'm going to rest it this coming year and I'm, uh, obviously one of the biggies is I don't know how long um, tomatoes have been grown in there uh, before me and tomatoes are one of those that I, in an ideal world you shouldn't grow them in the same soil for more than three years or more, more than three seasons in a row and I've got a feeling that that, that could have been the fifth, sixth season that that greenhouse has had tomatoes in it. So next year, tomatoes are going in the polytunnel. Yeah, tomatoes and chilies are going in the polytunnel, I think. Um, I've not set my plan in concrete yet. Um, and chilies or cucumbers, although I'm not growing many cucumbers, it's gonna be one or two tomatoes. And I'm not even sure if I'm going to bother with gherkins next year because I've not found a recipe for pickling them at home that I like as much as buying them in the shops. Um, so I'm not, I'm, gherkins I'm not sure on. Tomatoes are always worth the weight in gold. Um, I'm going all in and I'm doing quite a few tomatoes next year. I'm going to do some outside, some inside, some polytunnel, some greenhouse at home. Um, so yeah, I'm going all in on tomatoes, but I'm 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 not. I don't think I'm going to bother with cucumbers. Or, well, I'm going to do tomorrow because I, I like to keep the seed alive. Um, if I get some germination next year, um, but I'm certainly I'm I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm not doing gherkins. Um, so yeah, that's that's the greenhouse. Next job is going to be onto the polytunnel, but I think first I'm going to have a cup of coffee. So I'll see you in a bit. Um, quick one. I just wanted to let you know, through the off season, um, you know, when the weather's a bit pants and things like that, I'm gonna drop me. I'm gonna drop the spade to fork side of the channel. That's gonna decrease to one episode a week, which is gonna be out on Sunday morning. Um, it's purely simply because as the plot shuts down, there becomes less and less to talk about. Um, and the videos just become making videos for for the sake of making them. Um, the content's not going to be worth anything at all. So, after probably this Saturday's release, which is going to be the video that you're watching now, the content is going to change. The spit, Rod and Pollux, they're going to be getting their videos out on a Wednesday evening. Um, and Spade to Fork is going to be Sunday mornings. Um, at least that's how it's going to be for the immediate for future. For the off-season, for the allotment off-season, Spade to Fork, from my side of things, is going to drop down to Sunday mornings. There's Mix, hopefully Mix Taming the Beast session um, to come hopefully through winter and that's going to be him stripping back his large plot because it, it's it's like a wildlands um, so hopefully that'll be coming soon I don't know where he is with it um, so that's that's going to be a bit of content gardening wise through through winter um, but certainly from my side of things you know I've got the fence to do, I've got me, me pea sort of pergola to build, um, a new shed to build hopefully. Um, so that should, that should take us through the winter, uh, one episode a week should be plenty. So uh, yeah, after this I'll see you a week on Sunday, thanks.
gotta say for you guys out there on the allotment there's a lot to be said for a cup of coffee see if that's your thing or even hot chocolate just a hot drink and the humble one pound pot noodle not sponsored but I wish they would see you next time